local artist is frustrated after a sculpture about 9-11 was turned down from a national competition for being too controversial. It shows three religious texts, the Bible, the Torah, and the Koran, burned and hanging off of a replica of the Twin Towers. Well, Caitlin Ross talked to that artist, and Caitlin, he already had approval to display it, and then it was taken back. What's the story behind all this? Vinny, the mayor's office called it a miscommunication. The artist calls it censorship. The piece was approved by curators to be displayed at City Hall in Grand Rapids, Michigan for Art Prize. That's an annual art competition. But when the city saw it, they thought it was far too controversial to be in City Hall. How can someone commit these atrocities in the name of God and think that God is on their side? Artist Nabil Musa knew some people would take offense to the sculpture, but he didn't think it should be banned outright. Whatever happened to freedom of speech and expression? Art is supposed to be a way for us to be able to express ourselves and be able to do it without, without judgment, with, without any kind of uh, censorship. He thinks people should have a chance to look at the sculpture and decide what they think for themselves. Before you make judgment, go look at it. You know, study the piece. You know, ask yourself, why would an artist create this piece? What, what is the reason behind it? Even though the sculpture was turned away, he says he still plans to take it to Grand Rapids, Michigan and continue the conversation. Somewhere out of there, uh, I would love to see love come out of it instead of hatred, because if we focus on love, this would never have happened. Nabil called me late last night to say he thought he'd found another venue to display the piece in Grand Rapids, but the city stepped in again and would not allow it on city property. So he is on his way to Grand Rapids this morning and says he plans to find somewhere else to show the piece during the competition. Our prize begins tomorrow and runs through October 11th, Vinny. Now, and the irony here is all this controversy may actually get his message out that he wants the conversation to take place. Exactly, and that's what he really wants. He wants a discussion. He wants people to really see this piece and think critically about it. So it could be that this controversy is the key to getting his message out. All right. Thanks so much, Caitlin.